Hi guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at the head studio and we're going to ha have a look at the head design studio in here and we're, we're going to see what features are present in here while customizing the head to match the character in here. So we're going to try and match the head with this one using the head design studio right in here. So if we analyze this a bit, we have, as you can see, this specific hair shape. We have these colors, we have a long head and we have the glasses in here. So let's try and add those using the toolkit. And we're going to start with the head shape. Let's try and make it a little bit elongated. So let's enter inside the head. I'm going to start with the overall roundness. I want it very round, so I'm going to make that 100. Then I'm going to jump to the forehead. The width, I like how it is, but you have the option to increase that or decrease that if you like. I'm going to leave it to 20, maybe put the roundness to 100 so that it's completely round, but I'm going to leave the height, etc. as they are in here. So I'm going to jump to the shin now. As for the width, once again, I like it as it is, matching with the top part. I'm simply going to make the height 200 so that it would be a little bit more elongated, as you can see in here. The roundness I'm going to set to 100 as well. And there we have it, very round cheeks. And you have the option to use the V hat shape in here where it would basically convert your head to this V shin in here. Very, very nice option. I'm going to leave that off for now though. So if we close the shin, now we can move to the eyes maybe. So let's go to eyes. Let's select different eyebrows. So if we zoom in here, we can maybe select some different eyebrows in here. I'm actually going to move this controller in here so that the head looks to this side and the controllers are not in the way as well. So let's go back to the head design studio. I'm going to go to the eyebrows and let's select a different style. I'm going to select one in here and it's basically, a, it's basically a similar style, but with that dot removed. You can also maybe increase the width of them. Let's increase them to 60 so that they would be a little bit longer and also the height to around 40%. So let's jump to the eyes and I'm going to decrease the eye size to around 50% and that's basically it. They're good like that. As now they are going to be hidden by the glasses. So if we go to glasses, we can add the glasses in here. We can go ahead and use this style of glasses, but I'm going to change the style. So let's go to the lens now and I'm going to select a different style. So let's select style 10. Let's see how that looks and that's perfect. You can of course look through these styles simply by typing in your number in here and see what the other glasses look like. But let's leave it to style 10. Now we have a small issue in here where the glass center in here and the sides is not 100% matching with the gl glasses that we have, with the lenses that we have in here. So let's fix that. But before let's tweak a little bit the size of the glasses. I'm going to make them let's see 100 or maybe 90 percent and the opacity I'm going to make the lenses 100 percent or let's say 90 so that I can see slightly the eyes from underneath the colors I like so I'm going to leave that as it is now let's jump to the frame let's go first to the frame center which is basically this part in here and we can specify the height for it in here so I'm going to make that to minus 10. And you can also specify the size for it. So you can increase and decrease it, as you can see. I'm going to leave it at around 10. Now, for the frame sides, we once again have the height. I'm going to make it the same as the center to minus 10. And for the color, I'm going to make this black or these colors to match the, the rest of the glasses. Now the second color is useful when you have a certain lens types, they might have a frame with two colors. In this case, this lens have only one color, so I'm going to leave it as it is. So let's close this. Let's open the ears, ear properties. And from here we can increase maybe the size to around 60%. I like the settings as they are, the other parts, but maybe we can change the ear style to Let's see how style 14 looks. And that's quite good. I'm going to leave it to style 14. 
that's good let's close the ears now let's jump to the nose and we can maybe tweak the nose size let's make it 50 percent maybe that's quite large but we can see changing the style how it would look so let's change the style to let's say style uh, 26 and maybe we can raise it a little bit up since it's quite large in here so minus 35 now for the hair we have the color properties in here which we'll tackle in a moment and then we have the the hairstyles in here so you have five different options for hairstyles so you can set the front one style the middle one style so you can pick and mix from these to create your own hair so i'm going to change the front hair in this case and let's make that to 12 and that's basically it i like it as this now let's jump to the cheeks from here we can tweak the cheeks of the character let's give it a new style so let's say style 8 maybe there have it with have different cheek text texture in here and we can also tweak the height and width of these so uh, let's tweak this the width to 50 percent and the height to maybe 20 percent as you can see this changes accordingly you have other options in here like roundness stroke size opacity and you can play with those to see what they do the mouth looks good so i'm going to leave it as it is as well what maybe i would change is that in here as you can see you have the lips that are showing up i prefer if we don't have lips in there so i'm just simply going to remove those so if we increase them you can see that they would look like, like that in this case i'm going to give them a zero percent show the teeth show up a little bit more now let's play a bit with the colors so i'm going to start with the head with the skin color i have the color codes written in here that i want to use but you can pick any color from here i'm going to paste the color code in here and press ok now let's change the hair color and if i go to color properties i can put the color in here so simply pick your color i'm going to paste the, the color code in here press ok close that up and maybe we can tweak also the eyebrows so from eyes eyebrows i'm going to give them the same color as the hair also the ears and this for her texture in here we can change as well let's pick the nose color maybe and emphasize that a little bit more and click ok that's good now for the nose i'm going to give it this color pick ok and finally for the cheeks i'm going to give it this color as well so that's basically it that's how we can customize the head one thing that we can do as well is that we can add a beard and a mustache in this case this character over here don't have a beard or a mustache but i'm going to go ahead and add a beard on mine and a mustache too so we have that would would work so let's make him facing us a little bit more very nice and if we jump back to the head design studio i'm going to pick a mustache from here let's pick the biggest style so if we give a huge number you can see that we have 25 mustaches to choose from i'm going to pick style 25 give it a color there we go and of course you can increase the size so let's make it to around 50 percent and we can also find a beard that we like from here so we can select a beard style let's see five that's quite nice give it the color we can of course tweak the size of the of the beard from here and tweak the position there's also a switch in here to switch to a full beard now this switch would work with some styles but would 
look off with other styles. So in this case, with this style, if we toggle it on, you can see that it doesn't make sense since this beard is mostly used to wrap with the chin. So I'm going to keep that too off, but there are certain styles. So if we use a different beard in here, for instance, this beard, if we switch to full beard, as you can see, this might make sense in here if we decrease it in size, for instance. So this is why this button is in here. Let's go back to this beard size right in here. And that's basically it. So if we have a look at the whole character now, we can see how the whole character is looking very, very nice in here. So we'll see you in the next video where we see how we can tweak the clothes more and how we can add jackets, for instance, belts, etc.